Hello students. Today we are going to understand the different types of feedback connections we use in negative feedback amplifiers. There are basically four types of feedback connections given to amplifiers. One is voltage series feedback amplifier, then voltage shunt feedback amplifiers or connection, then current series feedback connection and current shunt feedback connection. You can see here the voltage is the keyword for two connections and other two connections current is the keyword and also here we can see here this voltage is in series here current is in series and then in under two methods voltage is shunt and the current is shunt. Now we have to first understand what these basically these terms means okay so Voltage, when you specify voltage, here they are talking about the voltage which is being fed back to the input of the amplifier. That is, you are actually giving at the input side. You know that in the case of a feedback network, the output, a part of the output is actually fed back to the input. When you say it is voltage series, or voltage shunt feedback amplifiers or feedback connections the voltage is given at the input side or voltage is fed back to the input side and when you say it is current series or current shunt you are actually allowing the current to flow into the feedback into the input feedback connection and similarly while when you say that it is series or shunt it is meant that how you give the voltage or the current at the input side. Whether you are giving the voltage or the current in series or in shunt with the input power supply. If you are giving the voltage in shunt with the or in parallel to the input power voltage source, then we call it as voltage shunt. Or if you are giving the current in shunt with the for, uh, voltage input volt input current source you can call is and call it as a current shunt similarly when you say it as uh, um, when you give the voltage or the current in series with the input supply we call it as um, voltage series or current series feedback connection uh, anyway you can understand more about each of this when we when we discuss each one separately so first we shall see what is a voltage series feedback connection. Now this is the block diagrammatic representation of a voltage series feedback amplifier. You have the amplifier circuit here and you have the feedback circuit here. So here it is the input. We'll see the feedback circuit later. First you understand the input given to the amplifier side. So input is given to the amplifier side and you get the amplified output which is VO at the output and you can normally you take the output across a load resistance and whatever voltage appearing across the load resistance is actually the VO or the output voltage and that you know that will be actually uh, amplified output. Now you see here I am taking a voltage across this resistance so you, you consider these two points here you can consider these two points if I keep my uh, connection or if you consider this two point and this that is these are two points similar to taking the voltage across RL right. So across the voltage appearing across RL that is you take the voltage appearing across RL okay that is VO and you take this voltage to the feedback network so that is being given to the feedback circuit and then feedback circuit produces a voltage that is VF and what is the value of VF you know that vol vol that value of VF will be the feedback fraction multiplied by VO so whatever output is there at the amplifier output side a, a part of that will be the output of the feedback circuit that is if VO is the voltage of the output of the amplifier a part of that that is beta times V0 
where beta depends upon the feedback circuit. So, beta times V0 part will be the output of the feedback circuit that is Vf. So, that voltage will be appearing at the output side of the feedback and that is given to the input. Okay. So, we have here we give the input voltage to the amplifier. You get the output voltage Vo and then uh, that output voltage is taken or uh, taken and that is given to the feedback circuit and feedback circuit produces an output voltage which is equal to beta times V0 and that is given to the input side. Okay, so thus you understand now that the output voltage is being taken and given to the feedback circuit. So output, since it is output voltage is taken, we call this feedback amplifier as or the volt, it is because of the voltage being taken out, the, we call this amplifier in terms of voltage. Next, how it is series. Now you see, you give the input voltage, you have a supply voltage here, which normally we call as VI. And suppose I draw this, this is the input voltage. You can see that this voltage is in series with the given VF. Okay. So the feedback voltage comes in series with the, you can see this voltage that comes in series with the input voltage source. Okay. So if I draw a connection, this is the input voltage and this is the input voltage. So this comes in series with the feedback voltage. And that is why we call it as this voltage taken voltage which is taken from the output of the amplifier and finally the output of the feedback circuit is given in series to the voltage source. So voltage is always used with, with the point of view that how the output is taken or how the output is tapped from the output side of the amplifier and the series is used uh, in terms of how the whatever we take from the output side or, or whatever is the output of the feedback circuit is given to the input side. So series is usually meant to understand that how that uh, how the output of the feedback circuit is given in in um, in connection with the input voltage input source. So here voltage is taken from the output side and that is given in series with the input voltage source. So we call it as a voltage series feedback amplifier. Okay. So hope you understood what voltage series feedback amplifier means. Now. We don't have to derive it, but the, but finally, when you do such an amplification, it can be proved that the input resistance are I prime. That is the input resistance after feedback is equal to one plus beta times AV into RI. So that means it increases the input resistance of a feedback amplifier. Similarly, and you know what beta here is. Similarly, the output of output resistance RO is prime is equal to RO divided by 1 plus beta AV. So in the voltage series feedback amplifier, input resistance increases and output resistance decreases. And that is a fair uh, method because we always prefer for an amplifier an increased input resistance and a decreased output resistance. So voltage series feedback amplifier is always a very suitable feedback connection uh, since the input resistance increases and output resistance decreases as we mostly desire. Okay, so this is all about the voltage series feedback amplifier. Next, we can understand what is current series feedback amplifier. Now we can see if you uh, the output side just compare the output how the output voltage is taken to the or how the output connection is uh, given to the feedback circuit. If you compare it with the previous diagram you can clearly understand that here we are not taking a voltage across the resistance RL we are not taking but instead of that 
the current flowing through the resistance RL is allowed to pass to the feedback circuit. So that means no voltage is tapped from the RL. Instead, we allow the current to tap to the feedback circuit or we, we allow the current flowing through the resistance RL. The current flowing through the resistance RL, it is allowed to pass through the feedback circuit. Okay. So that is why we call it as a current. Okay. Then why we call it as a series? It means again, similar as in the case of previous case, you can see if you have a current source here or a voltage source here, the current is given to the um, we know that if the VO is given to the feedback circuit and that feedback circuit produces an output which is equal to beta times V0, okay? And that voltage which you take across the feedback circuit, that is again given in a series with the uh, source here, okay? So, the thing is that the out from the output, you are not taking the voltage across the resistance. Instead, you allow the current flowing through the resistance RL to flow to the feedback circuit. And then output of the feedback circuit, that is the out output voltage of the feedback circuit is then given in series with the uh, input voltage as in the case of the previous voltage series feedback amplifier. So the input side, here you can see the input side in the case of current series and the voltage series feedback amplifier is the same because you are giving the output of the feedback circuit in series with the uh, input supply. But then output of the output part in the current series and voltage series feedback amplifier differ because in voltage series you take the voltage across RL but in current series you take the current passing through the RL to allow and it is allowed to pass through the feedback circuit. So I hope you understood what current series feedback amplifier uh, means. And then what is a current series feedback amplifier? In the case of that, um, you can see here, in, the, in this case, the resistance Ri prime, that is the input resistance um, increases with the, um, or in, increases when compared to that of the um, open uh, loop resistance so that is what ri prime is 1 plus beta av into ri but then output resistance um, is also equal to 1 plus beta av times ro so that means here input resistance as well as the output resistance increases with feedback so uh, this is the case which is happening in a current series feedback amplifier now we shall see what happens in a voltage shunt feedback amplifier. Now you know how you give a voltage, you take the voltage of, uh, across the resistance RL and you know how you give it in sh um, or how you, okay, now you have not studied how shunt is given that I will show you. Okay, so now as we discussed in the first case, the output voltage across the resistance RL is taken out and that is given to the feedback circuit okay so that is given to the feedback circuit feedback circuit output voltage that is beta times v0 that is given you can see here it is given in parallel to the input voltage so you have an input voltage source here let me call this as vi and you bother don't bother about this um we say this vi here we have all uh, learned that that you forget what that V is. This is the VI, okay? So this is the VI and you give the output of the feedback circuit in parallel. So this is the output of the feedback circuit. So let me call this as VF, okay? Actually, that is actually given in parallel to the input supply. So that is why you call it as a shunt feedback amplifier, okay? And um, you know that why it is called voltage because it is the output voltage of the amplifier uh, that or the voltage appearing across the resistance R that is VO and that is given to the feedback circuit that is why it is called as voltage then why do we call it as shunt because the taken output of the feedback circuit is given in parallel with the 
input voltage source and that is why we call it as a voltage shunt feedback amplifier okay now we will see what is the input resistance so input resistance ri prime here is equal to ri into or ri divided by 1 plus beta av so the input resistance decreases in the case of a voltage shunt feedback connection similarly ro prime is equal to ro divided by 1 plus theta times av okay so here you can see that both the input resistance as well as the output resistance decreases in voltage shunt feedback amplifier and this is nothing or we know that as we have discussed in the first time that input resistance has to increase output resistance can decrease but input resistance we prefer to increase in the case of a amplifier but this is in the case of voltage shunt feedback amplifier you can see that the input resistance is decreasing and the output resistance also decreases as we prefer in the case of voltage shunt feedback amplifier now you can see the next that is current shunt feedback amplifier so by now you know what is what do you mean by shunting or what does the shunt represents in the feedback amplifier and what why do we call it as current so you can easily understand this because why do we call it as a current because you are not allowing the voltage to appear across the feedback circuit but you are actually allowing the um, current flowing through the resistance current flowing through the resistance rl is allowed to pass through the feedback circuit and that is why we call it as a current and why do we call it as a shunt the output of the feedback circuit which is equal to beta times v0 and that is given in parallel to the input voltage source in give in parallel to the input voltage source and that is why we call it as a shunt feedback amplifier so current in the output is tapped to the feedback circuit and that output of the feedback circuit is given in parallel to the input voltage source and so we can call it as a current shunt feedback amplifier now what is the resistance in the case of current shunt, current feedback amplifier that is you can here write ri prime is equal to ri divided by 1 plus beta av so that means in both uh, shunt feedback amplifiers whether it is current or it is uh, voltage we can see that the input resistance decreases um, okay now this ro prime here is equal to uh, 1 plus beta av times um, ro so output resistance increases but the input resistance uh, decreases so this is the case of a current shunt feedback amplifier now if you compare all these feedback connections you can understand that in voltage series and current series feedback amplifier input resistance increases so in all the series connections that is voltage series and current series uh, connection the input resistance increases which is something which we really prefer and then uh, both volt in bo in both the connections of voltage that is in voltage series and voltage shunt feedback amplifier the output resistance decreases and you could have a comparison of the um, input and output resistance uh, with feedback in all the four cases you can have a comparative study okay so with this uh, this video come to comes to an end that is here we studied basically four types of connection that is a voltage series current series current uh, voltage shunt and current shunt feedback amplifier so by now you might have understood why we call it as a shunt feedback amplifier or why do we call it as a voltage or a current uh, feedback amplifier and um, uh, you can if you have any queries please post it in the comment box i hope you have understood it here clearly so thank you for your patient listening thank you